Hey everyone, my wife's out of town for the weekend and so I'm starting to work on the Sonics again. I went ahead and drilled up these Clicos right here from the 40 to the 30 size. I'm doing the same for the other side. I'm going to flip the horizontal and work on the other bits and then I'm going to take all of the um, Clicos out and then work on putting this piece in. There are three of them, one's for the actual uh, vertical, these two are for the horizontal. All right. I finished drilling from 40 to the 30 size and have all the uh, golden colored Clicos in. And I just noticed, I hadn't flipped this over in a long, long time, there's a rivet missing there. So I'm not sure if I missed it originally or if it fell out. Either way, I got another one of the rivets. I'm about to uh, drive it in using my hand rivet gun. So I'm going to go ahead and drive that in now. I uh, just finished pulling it in and it's in there really nice and tight. And that one is next to it even though it doesn't look like it's 100% flush, but I'm going to keep an eye, on, an eye on all these areas, make sure another rivets either fall out or maybe I miss one, who knows, but uh, here it is now. Starting to take the Clicos out and all of a sudden I realized there are two of these parts that are almost the exact same, so I'm going to go ahead and I marked this one right top and I'm marking the other one left top so I don't get them confused and I'll possibly swap them while I have both of them off working in the next bits. Okay, after some trouble I got the tips off. These little metal areas right here act as little knives that dig into the fiberglass and don't allow you to pull it out. Uh, so I need to shave them down. The next step on both these sides is to drill out uh, all six of these um, rivets right here. And then I need to take this piece out, dimple dye this top piece, I'll countersink the holes in the fiberglass, and then I'll leave these flat and um, once I pull this part out then I can go and attach the rear part um, relatively simply but um, but yeah it should work for it th there. Alright. For drilling out these uh, excuse me, these rivets I first put a punch into the hole and I use a hammer to flatten down the bar and shoot it out the back that was used to squish the rivet up and then I took my drill, uh, this is the same size drill as the actual rivet, and I used the head as a, um, as a, a centering device and I just started slowly drilling and what popped out, I did this with the top one, is the head of the rivet that was, it's directly in the middle of, and I got it out cleanly without going any further, so it worked out pretty well. I got it open after getting the last rivets out, uh, it's a mess. A lot of different little shards everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and take a rag and stick it way up in there and try and pull all the other little bits out. And I'm going to retouch up the, the paint on these because they had almost sealed together and when I cracked them apart it kind of ripped them from each other. Um, next part I'm going to do before I forget is I'm going to go ahead and dimple dye all these. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to think of it. I need to slide this uh, fiberglass back in now. It's going to be difficult to do that until then. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this bit then. Uh, Alright, thanks. This is the rib that is going to attach here. I really like the plans of bound. This is the particular way it goes. And um, what I decided to do, and I called to verify this is okay, is I drilled uh, two holes, one here and one here. They were not in the plans, but I used them so I could put Clicos on them to slide them into uh, the area and have handles on the proper side to work with this piece as I try and line it up. Uh, I couldn't keep, get the piece in earlier because these three rivets in here before uh, blocked me from getting a good lineup area, and so now this will properly be um, able to be held when I put the fiberglass tip on and go ahead and line it all up. So that's all I'm going to do for today, and uh, thanks for watching.